What's up YouTube? Hard Rock TCG here with another video today. Today we are going over an awesome deck, one of my favorites, one of my favorite playstyles across all TCGs, and that is an aggro rush style deck with Blue Green Rookie Rush. Uh, it is a figurehead in, in uh, the Digimon TCG, and I'm excited to bring you my build. I want to say congratulations to the two Rookie Rush players that went top eight at Top Cut this past weekend. Uh, fourth and sixth place Rookie Rush players. The fourth place deck actually is very similar to my own uh, with a couple modifications, so I wanted to show you guys exactly what I'm playing and why I like what I'm playing. So please like, subscribe, and comment for more videos, and we will go into the deck profile right now. So we start off with, I mean, this is like as standard as you can get for Upamon. So this card is amazing. When attacking, once per turn, if your opponent has a Digimon with no Digivolution cards in play, you can just draw one card. So it's super cool. It's great for that amazing turn two, you know, turn one Digivolve, uh, turn one play a thing, and then come out and you're already drawing a card. So it's super, super good. Um, next we're playing four Vmon, also non-negotiable. This card is um, amazing because it has the jamming, so it's very unlikely to uh, die when it hits security. Uh, the only thing really would be like an option card or something that could that could trash it, but this card is amazing. There's a reason why it's 10 bucks. Uh, next we're playing seven of the two drop 3000s. We have uh, four Elecmon, three Gomamon. When I'm playing seven, I like more Elecmon than I do Gomamon. <laughs> uh, I think actually I had, I did actually only had three more of this for some reason. Uh, I have four in my um, Imperial German build, and for some reason I couldn't find my, uh, my fourth. So this is my, this is my, uh, my seven here. Next we're playing four Gabumon. I really like this at four because it feels really good to be able to just draw into something. You know, it's essentially like, um, pretty much like a Pulsemon if you have, uh, if you have more than three memory. So, uh, it's, it's really, really good. You just draw a card. I love it. I'm playing one of Penguin Mon because I like the 5,000, and I just like playing one of them. He's just, he's a penguin, so <laughs> he's really cool. So I really like the one of Penguin Mon. He just is a nice little beater there, and you can also, it's, you can kind of play around too, like if you're at two, instead of playing two, two costs, you can play one and put your, you can play just, just one and put your opponent at ones. There's a lot of like cool plays with the threes. I, I do like having, having a, a fair amount of threes when I need them, so. And then next we're playing three, Strabimon, not four, because uh, this card really isn't. I I actually don't really like this card to be honest with you. I, I think I mean the art's cool, but I wish it would say something like reveal top five. I feel like that would be so much better. A lot of the time it whiffs, but at the same time, you know, it helps you get your tamers, it helps you get your Lobomons, and it helps it can get itself as well. So, you know, that's why it's a three of. I, I do I do uh, I do like it in certain situations, but it's probably my least favorite card in the deck. So that's it with our blue rookies. There, we're gonna go into our green rookies, Aruramon and. Leomon. I mean, it might as well be <laughs> uh, eight Auroras. They're the exact same card outside of the name. Two costs 5,000. They're just amazing. And they let you play your green options. So, yeah, they're great. So, going into the champions now, we're playing three Gorillamon because it's nice to be able to Digivolve to get the draw. And also, we have a 6,000 beater, which is cool too. So, we get kind of the best of both worlds here. Uh, not four. Um, there's not, I don't know, I don't really want to, like, get these in the, like, I, I don't want to get too many champions in my hand when I start. It's kind of, uh, you know, just a little bit, kind of like the little extra spice in there to be able to digivolve, and the list play them too, so it's it's really good. Next we're playing 3XV Mon. This is an amazing card. I was actually at two of these and four of these before. The reason why I like three of these is because of the one cost. The having the two ooh, having the two on these is, is a little bit more, but this to be able to unsuspend a Digimon and then attack again is great, especially if it's you know on top of a Vmon or being able to any way to unsuspend the Vmon really so that they don't they don't end up killing it because most likely if you attack with a Vmon and it lives, uh, your opponent is going to crash into it. So this card's great for the unsuspend aspect and even getting one extra security check. So this card can be game winning, and I've had it happen many times. It's really good. The last champion we're gonna play is three Lobomon. Now Lobomon is insane because you can digivolve on top of a tamer. I'm sure everyone, anyone that's playing BT4 format right now knows how amazing Lobomon is. It is an absolute game winner. So I definitely, 
Definitely love this card. I think you the ratio for Lobomon to Davis is three is is one per, one for one. So you'll see. I'm actually playing three Davis, so that's why I play these three. I feel like for every Davis, you should have a Lobomon. That's that's my ratio, and that's why I like playing the three of them there. Um, then we do play three Megas. We do play the Puppet Mons here. Not at four. I feel like four is definitely too much, at least for this particular build. Three is like a nice number because you play it when you when you need it. You know, you don't you, you play this one next turn. You want to essentially go for a game. Your opponent maybe doesn't have any more cards in hand or is low on them, and you're gonna get in the sense that they don't really have any options. You play the Puppet Mon, and then hopefully you win next turn. So this card is really good. It's a game winner, but not at four. All right, next we're going into the options here. We have, we're going to just lay them across here. We have four Hammer Spark. I mean, I don't think I really have to say anything more after that. Pay zero gain of memory and security gain two memory. If you're putting your opponent at one and they attack into this, uh, after the security check resolves, it's your turn. So, yeah, this card is, has many uses and it's amazing. Next, one Aqua Viper. I actually really like how the fourth place winner was playing two. Two, for me, has been a little bit bricky. I'm glad it really worked. So that's why I just like one. I like it that you can add it to your hand if it's in security. So you can get it in there. Um, and, you know, it definitely is a really, really good card. And I actually, after seeing that, I want to try it at two again. So we'll see. But I really like Aqua Viper. Next, we're playing two of the Needle Spray. Needle Spray is great because not only does it suspend one of your opponent's Digimon, it does activate in security and you can add it to your hand. So I, I prefer it over Flower Cannon for this deck, just because uh, a lot of the time we're in a very blocker-heavy format, so, you know, your opponent is going to wait to swing with their blockers to last because they a lot of them cost memory so to attack. So Needle Spray is great uh, because it suspends pretty much anything. So I like it more in this case. Uh, we're playing one Positron Laser. Positron Laser is, honestly, I wish I could play more of them, but they're just too high cost, but they are amazing. So up to two of your opponent's Digimon can't attack or block until the end of your opponent's next turn. Then if you have a blue Digimon in play, you can return one of your opponent's suspended Digimon to its owner's hand. So, and then it activates pretty much the same thing in security as well. So this is... This can be an absolute game-winning card, especially if they attack into insecurity. They can't attack anymore, and the next turn they can't block. So you very well, them hitting insecurity could be the reason why you have game. It's really that it's a game-winning card. So I really like it. I'm playing it at one just because it's high cost, and I'm not always going to see insecurity, but it's definitely a nice spice there. Then last but not least, the Davises. Three Davises because three is the magic number with this card, and then, of course, the three Lobomon to go on top of it. That's the ratio. That's my preferred ratio. And, yeah, that is, uh, that's the list here. Uh, it's super good. I've been playing this a lot, and uh, now that I've seen <laughs> a list that's doing very well, I'm happy that Rookie Rush is doing well. Um, looks like the player at least went through a big sea of Nidhogg and Wargrey and Security Control and came out like on top so that's that's amazing uh congratulations to to both the players and yeah i love rookie rush i've been experimenting around with different color combinations one i'm working on right now is actually red green so there might be a deck profile for that in the future if uh, if it goes well via testing but it's a lot of fun guys uh hey thank you so much for watching i have gained a lot of subscribers in the last three weeks since I started making videos again, and I really appreciate all of your support, seriously. It's been huge, I love Digimon, you guys are, you guys have been awesome, and I really appreciate it. I, I wanna shout out to a new YouTube channel that's uh, that some friends of mine are doing, uh, it's Team Underground. Uh, they are an awesome Digimon channel, great content, amazing players. I'm gonna post a link in the description, but they are amazing, so definitely check them out, Team Underground. Well, guys, I really appreciate you watching my latest video, and I will see you guys really soon. More videos to come, and have a great day.